This is Broken Roads by Drop Bear Bites and Versus Evil. Think of it as like a Fallout. We're setting a story here by Post Apocalyptic Australia, Fallout, or or Baldur's Gate, or Wasteland, that kind of a thing. We'll build ourselves a party and set off into uh, into the outback, I suppose, the post apocalyptic outback. And uh, it's not out yet. It comes out, I think, later this year. It's supposed to be coming out, but there is a demo here uh, on Steam, and I will. Uh, that's linked around here somewhere, but you can pick it up on the Steam page, pick up the demo, that's what I'm playing here. Let's try it out. And create a character. I've been looking forward to this one for quite a while, I've followed the... Oh, I'm sorry. The end of time. Dad called it a waste of good beer. Me, I called it another day in bloody paradise. It's been a hundred years, or less, since society had its last hurrah. We've rebuilt, sometimes better, sometimes worse, with nothing but hard yakker and the sweat off our backs. There's been bloodshed too, of course. People who will always be willing to kill for what they didn't do. But that's not most of us. We're the farmers, the brewers, the protectors and the builders. The people who keep this great land connected, one town at a time. So you survive. You make do. You live with tough choices and you don't look back. Because the next town is 200 kilometers away and mate, you passed the last refuge three days ago. There's no good or evil. No right or wrong, only the part you choose to travel down these broken roads. I tried fiddling with the audio settings. There is no fiddling with them. And so, yeah, the music is over. It's too loud or the voice acting. You know, yeah, it's all off. But uh, anyway, yeah, it is Australian Fallout. I think it's, that's clearly what they're going for. I think they mentioned it in the Steam page as well, Fallout. Um, Baldur's Gate and Wasteland, I think the three they mentioned. Anyway, we got a team demo here of, of the game. Uh, so we're going to go through the, we're going to create a character here, and uh, eventually we'll get ourselves a, uh, a party, and we'll we'll head out into, uh, down under, I suppose. I the demo, we only have the hired gun class available to us, but there's going to be a few as soon as the game comes out. Um, we're going to go hired gun. You grew up with a gun in your hand. If you wanted to eat, you shot what your parents told you to shoot. Uh, there's our attribute bonuses. We get a rallying cry. All my allies will gain an initiative bonus when I start screaming. And um, let's go in and build ourselves a character. We're going to pick... Uh, that fellow looks like me. About the same amount of hair, I suppose. And the moral compass. So as we play the game, we're going to have a bunch of choices that are going to come our way. And we will have to... As we, as our, our moral compass sways... And you kind of see these... Like our perks. We'll get perks based on what we do. So if we go Machiavellian, then we will get more perks that way versus going humanist, that kind of thing. And we're going to go through this kind of a uh, intro story also. And you can read that if you want. That will also kind of guide us at the start as well. So... The golden arc in the center represents our worldview, and if we if we highlight that worldview, then we get those attributes. Uh, and there's for the four moral quadrants. Okay, so question: This is our um, uh, welcome to uh, life uh, questions. You picked up your job at a, to escort a captured thief. You get to talk, and he tells you the sad tale of how he came to be captured. Sounds like he's not really the perp, and actually makes a pretty good case for his innocence. He begs you to free him. What do you do? So, we can go humanist, we can let him go free. We can say, you've been paid to do a job and you plan to see it through. Uh, you can say, promise him you'll plead his case. It doesn't serve anyone's interest to execute an innocent man. Or, uh, tell him to make you an offer. You won't get the other half of your pay if you get to Booktown without him. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll listen to his story and I'll plead his case. Uh, it doesn't serve yours if he's fact that he's is guilty. Best you can do is assure justice. Yeah, justice. Look at his face. He likes justice. After a series of raids on caravans passing near your home, you put together a scouting party. You've got a bandit leader and one of his raiders. The leader pleads for release, pledging to comply with your terms. Do you free him? <clears throat> we can execute them both on the spot. <laughs> Better to not have that kind of headache. <laughs> Take him back to town and stand trial. Not my call to make. Uh, escort them far away, warning that if you catch them here again, the dead 
or tell him that uh, you'll let him go free him or his raider, and he gets to choose which one lives. Oh my. And you can see where it's going to sway whenever we pick one of these. Um, <laughs> um, we can't go all utilitarian, because that's... Yeah. True nerds make a PowerPoint chart to, for their morality. Yeah. <laughs> um, um... I guess we can go all utilitarian, I suppose, but I kind of want to see something else. I kind of want to look... Tell him you're going to let one of them go free, him or his raider. And he gets to choose which one lives. Oh, that's rough. You know, we're not in... We're not in... Sydney anymore. A nearby townstead has a new chief, and he's starting to flex his muscles. He sends an envoy with a threat. Pay tribute or suffer his wrath. He clearly has the military strength to back it up. Do you pay? He thinks he can take it. Let him come. Uh, we can negotiate. Um, we can send scouts to see if he can enforce his demands. Or we can send an envoy in return to try to negotiate with a new chief. War hurts everyone. Um, oh, look at this one. Negotiate with the envoy and escort him back. Concealed, your tr top fighters follow. In town, publicly execute the envoy, displaying the head on a spike. <laughs> Warn others to surrender their chief or face the same fate. Oh my. This is getting ugly. Um, no, let him come. We're not scared of him. No heads on pikes yet. A child in the village has started showing symptoms of the plague. The town you chose to quarantine him and his... Uh, the town chose to quarantine him and his family, but you caught him sneaking out of the house to play with other kids. What do you do? We're not in the outback anymore. We are the outback. <laughs> we send we send him to the other town. Uh, let him go with a warning. If he's not, if he's contagious, you're all infected now too. If he's not, no harm done. Uh, rally some neighbors and evict the entire family. Send him back to his house under careful guard, or return him to his house and explain to the family what will happen to the town. To the town, if they all are infected, make them see reason. Well, well, let's just have a chat, you know? We'll have a chat. We'll chat softly and carry a big gun. You've been captured by people who've clearly gone mad. Finding yourself in a pen along with a dew farmer you've met before, a mercenary stripped of his weapons and terrified young family. The captors assemble, their, uh, assemble a massive pyre, indicating that they're intent for a twisted sacrifice. Noticing a guard's distraction, you're certain you can escape on your own, but every person you can bring, you bring with you increases your chances you'll get caught. Save myself or save everyone else. I can take advantage of the distraction. Try to get everyone out. I can slip away on my own. Other ones fend for themselves. Convince the Merc to come with you. The Dew Farmer can likely find his own way out, but the family will be nothing but a liability. Get the family out first. The other captives should be, should be able to handle themselves. No, no. We're, gonna get, we're getting everyone out. Discovered a cache of pre-apocalypse supplies in an abandoned farmhouse. You can't carry it all back on your own, so you even list a few friends from town to help. We haven't moved this. This thing hasn't really swayed at all since we started this, has it? Maybe a little bit to the right. Uh, when you return to the cache, you find a group of emaciated sca scavengers in the process of looting the place for themselves. Do you let them take the supplies? Emaciated? More like dead. Let them take the supplies, but secretly follow them back to their home. Once there, you can loot their other loot their other goods and kill them all. <laughs> Let them go. Or tell them you found the place first and offer to split the takings. No. We threaten them. If they don't hand them over, we kill them. Okay. We got a little sway that way. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay. So we got six, att six attributes. We got to build our character here now. Um... And you'll see where these come in in a second. Strength, agility. This should look all familiar with, with everything. We get, so we get uh, attributes. We have skills as well. Yeah, we're a Hufflepuff now. Um, so, um, punt is one of the unique skills of Broken Roads. It's the ability to have a punt. So, um, I've seen a few RPGs that do this, the punt thing, where you you take the success. If this, I'm assuming this is the same way. Um, and if you take the success, then you get basically penalized elsewhere. Um see what we're this year. Uh, so taking, taking a risk on something uncertain. So, um, 
we have a pool of, uh, of punt points, and they can draw on if they need to attempt a skill check that they'll, they, they just fall short of, and basically you make it happen, but then something bad later on happens. It takes it away from something else. Basically is how that works. Okay, got it. So, there is Nook. Uh, what kind of character we want to be? I don't I don't have a, an opinion yet. I think we can see, get and see the game, and um, we'll figure out what to do with it then. We got Charm and Appeal, it gives us punk points. We got um, Wit and Intellect, which is like initiative and intimidation checks. Uh, oh, in intimidation checks are from intelligence. Uh, resolve is like health, damage reduction. We'll put a couple in there. Uh, we can always just auto assign and see what it does for us. Um, I'm, not, I'm not opposed to that. Sure, well, that's, that's fine. And then as for our skills, um, shrug off damage, melee mastery, opportunist. Shooting mastery, throwing, biology. Uh, you know what makes people tick physically? Increased amount of health restored to the target when administered by this character. We can be a doctor. There's the punt skills. What happens if we auto-assign? It just kind of, like, splits it out evenly. Yeah, you know what? Let's just split it out evenly. We're a good shot, uh, which maybe we need to have. That doesn't say anything about accuracy. Range damage. Oh, awareness is accuracy. Okay. Um, that's fine. Let's leave it. That's fine. We'll leave this. We'll get some more party members. You know, we'll, we'll do a uh, kind of a little bit of everything and, and just see what we can get into here. Hey, Jeffrey, how's it going? You made it. Good. My name's Jake. Jake Anderson, and this is Bally Bally Hall. So, um, again, I mess with this, but it doesn't actually do anything. We can we can turn this up. We can turn the voice volume. Up, but it doesn't actually doesn't work. We can turn the music down. Doesn't doesn't do anything. So we're gonna have music playing like no matter what. There's nothing to really do with this. Um, so I apologize. Uh, the, the settings are kind of just stuck. So you have to just read or I'll read it for you. Anyway, hey Jake, how's it going? Tell the truth, wasn't sure. I think there's only a little bit of voice acting in it anyway. Tell the truth, uh, wasn't sure you'd make it. Between the wildlife and the attacks we've seen, thought you might have met with some misadventure. Straps his nose with his thumb and sniffs. Right, so the job's simple. It pays good. You'll ride along to Kokobi with a couple of my scouts as security for Cole, the engineer fixing our radio. In Kokobi, you'll be meeting Mick, the mayor of Brookton, and escorting them both back home. Okay. Go to go to Kokobi and meet Mick, and then bring him back home. Got it. Easy job. Not much trouble. Better safe than sorry. Uh, let me introduce you to, uh, to Ella. She's my second. My cousin, too. Her sister's mad. All right. New blood, eh, Jake? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, hired gun for the trip to Kokobi. Figured it wouldn't hurt. Situation being what it is. Gonna be with you. Maybe we can give the tour. Um. Hello. Praise on duty. Uh, is it good to meet her? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Okay. I'm sure your sparkling personality will shine through. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's go, Ella. Fancy seeing the place. Meet the colorful locals. Ready whenever you are. I've already met the boss. That leaves Jonesy, Dreamer, and Mad. May as well say hi to Cole, too. Let's go. Because you'll be escorting him. Okay, so we, we can walk around. Our characters are going to be like a party, basically. And we're going to walk around. Wazzy moves our screen around. And I think that's pretty much it. The important tabs, we'll see that when we get there in a minute. Moral compass, journal, map, all that stuff. Yeah. There's our party management. Okay. Equipping items. Got it. There's me. There's her. Okay, okay. She has, she has a sniper rifle. Okay, we've got the moral compass, which is, I suppose it's of me, and I'm just the party, I suppose. And so nothing's available. Oh, that, that one's not available in the demo, but it looks like a couple of them are. Begin combat with a reduced initiative. We have any of these available. There's, there's maybe one on each side available. Yeah. What's this one? Character ends combat without combat fatigue. They start the next round with a brave condition and allies get inspired. None of these are in there yet. I can plan and execute, though. Oh, no, that's that one. Never mind. Never mind. Wrong kind of execute. Okay, so there's our journal. Go and, uh, and go meet some folks. Got it. Okay. And there's the menu. And there's our map, which we see nothing yet. Okay. How's it looking over there on stream? Looking all right? Nice and smooth? So this is this is again with with the um, with there not being really any settings, I'm in 
4K on my monitor, which is getting shifted over to 1080p over there on stream, so it's hopefully looking okay. Typically when I play 4K on here, it doesn't doesn't play nice with my recording software. My computer's too old. Anyway, there's Cole. Hey Cole. A gangly young man wipes his hand on his coverall his coverall. Who's this? Cole, That's me! Major new protector. We need extra muscle for our trip to Bookton. Given Jake and Jones here headed down older side way to see why they're so quiet. Hide this one on to keep an eye now. That's fantastic, he says. Okay. Steady there, Christmas. Uh, oh, crikey. No, not yet. Do I mention Kokobi? See, your modulator shot, and I don't have a spare, so it's a good thing we're headed up there. Once I got that modulator, everything's going to be golden. You'll be right as rain. Mm. When do you want to head out? Well, reckon whenever you're ready to go, I clean up real fast. Meantime, I'll keep working on projects around here. Okay. The scouts don't have radio? Till we get this modulator sorted, might as well learn how to use passenger pigeons or reflecting mirrors or something. Okay. Plenty of time to chat on the way to Kokobi. Good, good chat, Cole. I suppose we want to go this way. Who's this? What's your name? Get a chance to talk to everyone yet? All right. No? Best get on it then. Well, let's go look around. We got chickens we can look at here. Hello, chickens. I just heard the sound of a snake. People always want to leave their mark, regardless. Oh yeah, graffiti. Snakes. Hey, let's take a little tour of the place. Ooh, it's pretty. This is the roof up the up to of the hall. Look up there in the crow's nest. That's my sister, Mad. She'll be staying behind when the rest of us arrange out our jobs later. Up here. Matt, new hired gun. Going to be coming with Mishdi and me to Coco Bay. Okay, the woman in the watchtower wears drab brown clothes. She scowls down from the makeshift turret. Uh, you babysitting Ella, or is she baby she sitting you? Um, I'm not much of a sitter, to be honest. I'm a good teammate, though. <clears> How <throat> much remains to be seen? Okay. Okay. Ready to move on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh this is a family-friendly stream, man. May not be so family-friendly today. Just, just a little warning there. <laughs> if I start leaning towards the red, anyway. <laughs> Uh, do you, um, uh, make sure the perimeter is secure? Um, what do you need? Uh, choose your for a moment, setting the fence and points. I want you to walk a circle around the outside of the fence, check it for holes. If a dingo can fit through, call it out and we'll patch it up. I need you to get your uh, precious hands dirty. Alright. I'll do it. I don't need an attitude. Okay. That's all we're gonna get out of here. Come on. Let's go. Who's this? Name's Jonesy, man. Hey, Jonesy. I was Who looking you? for you. He's a hooded man. Uh, Jake hired him to give us a hand on the way to Kokopee. Pretty new to the life. Got tips for him? Uh, new gun for the good guys, eh? Glad to hear it. Ever use your weapon on a person before? Yeah. Loads of times. That's why Ella... Uh, then that's... Then why does Ella think I can teach anything to a hardened killer like you? Okay. So yeah, yeah. my advice is this. Time comes to throw down, don't pull it. They say a bad word, just say, they said angrily. I made the mistake of trying to be kind once. Okay, don't be kind. Listen to Jonesy. Jonesy's a good cat. Pulls on top of his shirt and shows a nasty scar running across his chest. Um. That's a good cure for just about anyone. You'll do fine out there, new kid. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna swing by and uh, see me old man. Gotta update him on the kill count. Kill count. Um, you gotta break a few eggs to make that new world cake. Exactly. Now you can see my. You can, you can see it shifting a bit as I as I chat. Just between you and me, fuck the Raiders, rustlers, the other assholes shitting up the place. He's saying bad words. <laughs> just that that um, warning goes out for the rest of the stream. Don't let him fool you. Under that bloodthirsty exterior lurks. Well. Heart of a killer, but under that, not a bad guy. Not if he's on your side. Well, unless you're a farmer, then you should lock up your wife and daughters, livestock too. <laughs> ah, you know me so well, Ellie. Except the livestock thing, no one can prove that. Uh, watch out for her. She's secretly not always mean. It's weird they have like a few of them, like there's just like randomly spaced uh, voice acting. 
Um, okay, uh, anything to talk about? Uh, we can do a little target practice with these. Yeah, we'll do a little target practice. Let's go see if we can shoot some things. We can see, we can see some of the shooting. So it's, a, you know, action point system, turn unit kind of system. Everything has different optimal ranges. And I've got myself a pistol at the moment. It takes three action points to go over there. We've got what? We've got, let's see how, what we have here. Get reacquainted, get acquainted with this. I'm in front of a knife at the moment, which is all I'm covering up. So I think it should be okay. If I get in the way, just yell at me and I'll, I'll get rid of myself. There's three action points over there. We can blast this one. Pew, pew. Take that, ma'am. Oh, no action points. Um, in turn, where's my action points? Fill up in there. There they are. Oh, so we got we have moving and and um, the other game, the game I played last night did that as well. You have movement and you have you have action points. They're very tiny down there, and I apologize for the tininess. Um, let's go switch over to the old knife, and let's, let's practice our stabbing. If they start moving, that's when you know you screwed up. <laughs> This one with a dartboard. Okay. We'll, we'll shimmy on over here and then, and then stab, stab. Oh. What? What? what, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm gonna have real bad, bad time out there if I can't hit a dummy. So three action points to do that. Is there anything else we can do with this thing? Skills. We can intimidate. Um, can sprint, frag grenade. Can I do this multiple times? Or I think I just have one. We probably shouldn't shouldn't throw that right now. Uh, we'll try. To, we'll see if we can stab. There we go. Okay, okay. I got it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I got it. I'm done. My skill at killing man is against has repeat has increased. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Let's run away. Mate, they don't bite. Well, I don't know. Okay, so Ella is in our party again. Uh, we gotta go meet Dreamer, wherever Dreamer may be. Okay, let's go find Dreamer. This way, I'm good at assuming. This only a small amount of grimy water left in the tub. Grimy water. Those camels are going to need something to I can drink. fill the tub with fresh water or leave it alone. I'll put some water in there. Yeah, I'll be a nice guy. Here you go, camels. Quickly fill the tub, providing clean drinking water for those noble beasts. You're already a real hero. <laughs> what a hoot. <laughs> I'm already a real hero. Did you hear that? Hey, there they are right there. Hey, hey! I just filled up your uh, your water there. I'm supposed to be kind of uh, viewing the perimeter. Is there a, where can I go my map? Oh, maybe we need to go that way. I bet you. Nothing over here to look at. I don't think there's a... Oh, maybe that's him. Um, is there a see things button? No. Okay. I really wish that this, this would work. Oh, well. Oh, that's not him. I don't think so. I don't think so. That snake. Gold is still glowing faintly over a mound. Uh, hey, hey there. I said, scouts have a place where you can just go let one rip. Make sure you're in, in the graveyard. I get the, I get the joke. I get the joke. Uh, hey, are you uh, the person I'm looking for? Uh, Dreamer! Give the fresh meat a wave, will you? Fresh meat? For dinner? Oh, you know I gave up human flesh, Ella. Oh, I'm Mishti. They call me Dreamer. Um, you used it. Uh, yeah, yeah, my guy has no clue. He's never told a dad joke in his life. He's never. He doesn't understand jokes. You used to eat people? Just pulling your leg, mate. Never eaten human flesh. Well, yet. 
Well, I have. What do you do here, comic relief? A smile fades from her face. She blinks at you. <laughs> no, no. No wazes. What's that mean? I've seen worse than you on the regular. She pastes her smile back on. A grouchy face doesn't phase me nearly as much as Darrow's running at me with knives made of pig bones and scrap metal. Anyway, my job here, such as it is, consists of two main gigs. What I do best is convince people to save their bullets. I defuse fights, make sure people get along, keep their blood inside their skins. The other job, cleaning up this mess. Charming Sheila. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get in the uh, in in the right lingo here. Um. What, what is cleaning up this cleaning up this mess entail? The whole place looks messy. <laughs> You're not wrong. Should have seen it before I got here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we'll get it done in the next few months, I bet. Okay, can I help you with anything? Uh, I could use a hand with a couple things. And Jake wanted you to get some time in the firing range. Make sure you're good to go as you say you are. I did already. Last fellow was a bit of a legend in his own lunchbox. Oh, yeah? Now he's dead. Oh. Better to know up front if someone's aim is a bit shit. Corpses aren't so great at self-improvement. I almost got that got that dummy over there. Uh, but I already tried the photography practice. Um, well, tub's full. You're amazing. Oh, yeah. Um, I've done everything. You know that's not true. <laughs> okay. Um, I still got some work to do. Does that all have to be done today? Yeah, sadly. Jake's been really on mad at me about it. All right. All right. Let's get to it. All right, so the journal is... Return to Jake. I, I may, We've got side quests to do... Um, target practice. Already did. Clean and uh, clear the scrub from the camel paddock. We didn't do that. I suppose we could go do that. And we have to investigate the uh, the fence over here, which is that like right over... Can I go over here? I'm not sure if that's something we... If we need to go outside for that. I'll go check out the Campbells, though. And then we'll talk with Jake, which I think... That wasn't Jake. Was that Jake? Jake's the main guy, right? We'll swing by the Campbells and we'll clean them up. This grub... Looks like it's invading the camel's enclosure and they're having trouble resting without getting pricked. It wouldn't take you long to clear it out. I'll clear it out. Yeah, I'm a hero. Takes a few minutes, paddock's cleared. Well, there you go, boy. Well, there you go. I'm getting a little worried if people aren't here couldn't do that without my help. Okay, Jake. Heard you're having your chin wags with everyone. Mm -hmm. How you're finding Ella? She's rough around the edges, but then we all are. It's why I like to have her score higher people around. Anyway, what do you think of the place? Um, it's all right. Just all right. I can see your point, but to be honest, I mean, I grew up here. A lot of memories, good and bad. A special meaning to me. Each their own, I suppose. Anyway, if you're done with that, time to get Cole up to Kokobi. Like I said before, should be safe and easy. Once you get there, meet up with Mick. He can be a real charmer. Real charmer. Or he can be a right bastard. Charmer. He's a hard man, so it's best not to bullshit him. He's Jonesy's adopted dad, if that gives you any idea what he's like. Okay. Got it. Anything else? No, no. Um. Let's do it. Want to wrap anything else up here first? Uh, you know, I told her I was going to look at the fence, but I'm kind of a liar. Let's get out there. Cruising for a bruising from Mad for not checking the fences. And you went and left Mishti out in the cold. She shakes her head. How to make friends and influence people. Opposite edition. <laughs> okay. Let's get out of here. Stay safe and don't be stupid. Okay, yeah. Let's get out there. Enough of this, this early town nonsense. I have a hydrate from 15 minutes ago. Sorry, Master Lith. You're not even an hour away from Bally Bally Hall when you spot a makeshift cart on the road. A man lies motionless on the ground. A sobbing woman cradles his body. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. Heads up. Over there, behind the fence. The young man sitting off the side of the road is rocking back and forth, a pistol held, unheeded in one hand. 
Neither he or his mum appeared to have noticed you, lost in their own personal tragedy. Things could get dicey. Hang back while we check this out. All right. You got it, boss. Um, let's go look and see. He's a solid seven. Would have been an eight, but for the hole in his chest. Seems like he'd be good. Seems like he'd be a good listener, though. On account of being dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which of cards been seen better days still appears to be in one piece. Uh, let's have a chat. <laughs> Macy, the woman is sobbing over the body of a man laying sprawled in the dirt. Bright blood stains his shirt and pools in the dust of the road. She doesn't look up as you approach, trapped in the world of her pain. Oh, I can't say these things because I'm not nihilist or humanist. <laughs> There's no sense crying. He's dead. Um, what happened? First you think she isn't answering you. Then you catch the fragments of the words as her edges of her sobs. She looks up, wiping her face at the edges of her sleeves. It's kind of like that that we can't say, like if if we are not nihilist or whatever, uh, that we can't use that option. So we have to kind of, we have to stick with a theme. And if we can't just like bounce, bounce back and forth. I, I know, it's, I think it's neat. Can you hear the, uh, the voice at all? Um, did he attack you? No. She leans down and puts her head on the corpse's chest, shaking her head in unceasing denial. She gives you a look and steps forward to take command of the situation. What can we do? She stares at Ella a few seconds, as if to assure herself that a pale woman is real. My son, he shot Greg. He took the gun, and he's a good boy, but I can't lose him, too. Why did he shoot him? Wait for a moment, but the moment woman doesn't respond. Right, we'll go have a chat with him. Okay. Let me see, um... Try one thing real quick. Turn the music up a little bit. Oops. So we can maybe hear the audio any... Stay back. I've got a gun. Um. <laughs> yeah, so have I. Um. Why don't you put it down and we'll talk? You don't understand. His arms seem to lower of their own free will. I just killed someone. He raises his arms again. They're shaking. I could kill you too. So what? I've killed tons of people. So, I'm just like you? He's gone. But I bet you never shot your own. Dad. He starts to cry. Misha takes a step forward, hands him up, uh, hands him, hands up and empty. Let's just have a chat. Uh, I'll let I'll let Misty handle this one. You know, make her feel important. We've all done things we regret. One split second decision seems like it's all over. It's not. You're still here. It means you have a chance to make it right. You don't know what happened. What I did. I killed him. My own dad. She takes a step closer, ignoring the loaded pistol being waved in a direction. Hey, it's okay. What's your name? Um. Oh, she's gonna get shot. He told me. He told me. Remember, just a minute ago, he just told me not to be nice. Oh man. This is going nowhere. Put the gun down or I'll shoot. That's not going to work. I'll, I'll let her do her thing. This is what she does. What does it matter? The despair in his voice makes the words sound hollow. No one's going to remember me anyway. You don't know that. You got a long life ahead of you, but you need to accept that you're not responsible for what your dad did. No, it wasn't like that. He asked me to. He said he was holding me and mom back. That we'd never make it to Meriden at this rate, so he asked me to. To, to make sure she makes it. And I... I shouldn't even be alive. Go! Oh. Puts the pin under his chin. Um... What do I do? I, so I was thinking, I was just thinking, shoot him in the leg, pop him in the leg! Okay. Here it goes! Real slow-like. He screams and falls down, drops the pistol. To grab hold of his leg, you hear his mum's frantic cry from the road. 
She sprints over and drops to her knees beside him, putting her hand to his wound, applying pressure. She tears the sleeve off her shirt and wads it against the bleeding. Problem solved. Mom. Puts his head against his shoulder and sobs. Ella, uh, uh, she picks up the pistol, checks the cartridge, tucks it under her belt. He'll be safer without that around for now. We're done here. Do we get paid? <laughs> Um, I want to know what happened. Not part of the job, job description. We get moving. All right, fine. All right. Cole, you ready? Let's go. Cole's having a little nap over there. Cole, this was exciting, and you missed it. Hey, she stops you with a gentle hand on your arm. I thought I, I had it under control, but on the off chance I didn't, thanks. Injured and alive is way better for him and his mum. Just need some time to see it. Hmm. So I could I could sway this and get a couple of these things. <laughs> Five minutes on the road and we already shot a young boy in the leg. We left family friendly back in town. <laughs> We're all just doing our best out here. Took the words out of my mouth. She grins at you, then removes her hands. Oh. Let's get moving. Alright. All right. Welcome to Kokobi Way Station. Now we've got Cole here. All we need to do is wait for Mick to arrive, then escort the two of them back to Brookton. He should be arriving any minute now. Any minute now. I'm gonna check the radio tower and catch up with Dustin. He need, he usually he's got modulators up the wazoo. Be down there if you need me. There he goes. <laughs> Never a dull moment with Cole around. Uh, I'll just introduce you to Tina. She runs this place. Good person to know. Oi, you looking for work? Sunny. Okay. I need like a um a highlight things option. We'll, we'll go over here. We'll. Oh, right. There was an option I noticed in here. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, there was an option here to follow. Where was it? Follow player. Let's see if that works. See if that, see if that works. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. None, none of the options really work in here. <laughs> Welcome to Kokomi, stranger. The effervescent teenager. Good day. We're here to pick up some parts for the radio, and then we're headed down to Brookton with Mick and Cole. Thought we'd say hi while we're here. This here's a hired gun. Jake reckoned we could use extra hands. And I've already used my hands on that kid's leg. Uh, always a pleasure. She smiles at dimples on her cheeks, making her look even younger. Mick's not here yet, but you're just in time. I've got a little bit of pest problem, and I'm hoping you can clear me up. Clear. See me clear. Um. Um. Yeah, what's the problem? Well, we hired a mercenary, Ian Mason, to help protect the town. Okay. Ever since we hired him, he's been driving away business with that attitude of his. We want, to go, we want to go shoot him. Problem is, he won't get lost. Claims we have a contract. She gives him the finger and keeps it up as he lazily extends his arm to do the same. Where is he? Over here somewhere? I want you to convince him to move on. Go terrorize someone else. And to stop being such a fucking crybaby. A, a, a lousy crybaby, she says. <laughs> Okay, I'll go shoot him. I'm really good at shooting people in the legs. Don't sit on a rusty spike and rotate, you old filthy bastard. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, I want him gone. Thanks. I'll go take care of him. Looking forward to your problem-solving capacities. All right. <laughs> All right, uh, that one's done. We're, um, I guess we're just sort of waiting for this one. Let's go to deal with Ian Mason. Yeah. I suppose we can visit the visitor. We have things to sell too, right? G'day. What can I do for you? What do you got in stock? Okay, bartering. Oh, we barter. Okay, no money. Um, okay, so we can give you, uh, some meat or useful rags and pick up a rope. How much money do I have? I do have 125 bucks.
put it like that. And I can give you... Is my stuff just worth that much? I think so. Okay, we'll hold off until we need it. <laughs> yeah, these effervescent teenagers. Uh, bye. Come back anytime. Okay, let's have a chat with this fella. Oh, he's got... We have a... What is going on with this guy? Well, that's freaky. Okay. I don't know if you saw him. He's got, he's got a bag over his head. There he is. He's all dressed up for Halloween. I'm busy. He lazily gives you his attention. What do you want, kid? Looking for a real man to show you how to use a gun? I think I know how. Um. What's your deal? My deal. My deal is I'm the only thing standing between these bogans and a slow death in the sun. There'd be no kookaby if it was protecting the whole place. Pretty sure protecting the people in these places around here is what we do. Yeah, Tina wants you to move on. Uh, I don't care, he says, what Tina wants. She hired me, and I kept my end of the bargain, protecting Kokobi. Gonna take more than you and your little two nursemaids to change my mind. <laughs> oh, how dare he? Look, you don't want to die for these people, and I don't want to have to kill you over it. Just walk away. I can't, why can't I have that one? Um. Oh, yeah. I can't make you leave, but you're wasting your time, your talents here, don't you think? All kinds of places you'd be appreciated more and paid more. Hmm, he narrows his eyes and crosses his arms. Works his jaw, and you can tell he's getting ready to bring out the big guns. I have a contract. A merc's word is his worth. I go back on that. I'll never work again. I'm not giving him money. You'll never get work again if you're dead, either. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. What? <laughs> um, the way I see it, you're making a good case for why the world would be better without you. What? <laughs> um, what in the world you say to me? <laughs> um, um, uh, <laughs> um. Oh, hey, we're in the red. We got we got that one. Let me spell it out for you. We're better off without you. Your death would make the world a better place. I've had enough of your threats. I don't take shit from anyone. Least Stuff. of all, a two-bit mongrel too dumb to know his fucking place. Darn. All right. End dialogue. Oh, he's got friends. Oh, the guy with the bag is a friend. Okay. All right, who's up first? That guy? Okay, so, where's she at? She's right here. So, she has a sniper rifle. She has a knife as well. Uh, what kind of skills can she do? Oh, we can frag them. Yeah, frags out. <laughs> do we just throw frags? I think we do. There we go. Yeah, if anyone mods, you wanna might wanna um, pop that uh, family friendly tag off of the uh, stream. I forgot it's still it's on there, just for this one. Okay. Well, there's one. Um, I mean, typically the cannibalism and all that stuff. Typically, that's that's all right. But today might be a little bit much. <laughs> Thanks, Skull. Um, I'm gonna get you to go like behind. Yeah, get get some cover. Why don't you do that? Is there a? Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I mean, you don't do like that far. Okay, your turn is done. Okay, now it's her turn. Um, do you have a grenade as well? No. So you can intimidate, you can force an, which forces an enemy to retreat. I'm not sure what she's good at. Um, Barbican. Shirt off damage like a, oh, oh, like with sand damage. Take aim, leadership. Or vigilance. Keep your finger on the trigger and your eyes down your sights. Oh, okay. Overwatch. 
Uh, no, I think we're just gonna shoot this guy. Can we just shoot him? Okay, it seems like we've got a, we got a, we got a 56% chance on that guy. 58 on him. 36. You just have a pistol. What if, let's say, we go to switch over the knife and start stabbing in the back? It is strange that there's two sets of music playing, isn't it? You're right. You're right. I don't know why that that music is constantly playing. Something's funny about the music. Um, I think we're going. We're gonna go knife, and then we're gonna shimmy. I'd like to shimmy behind him if I can. That seems like a safer spot to be. I figure stabbing people in the back is probably the safest way to do it. Critical. What? What? How do you critically fail? His back is right there. Um, that'll give you cover from him. Just stay right there. Okay, my turn. I'll show these guys how to do it. Okay. Never mind. I won't show anyone how to do it. Let me go and um, hide out over here. I know, I should have aimed for the leg. Critical fail, excellent. Oh, stab, stab! Nice. <laughs> what are we, a bunch of, like, ostriches? Swing and a miss. Okay, this combat's going well. Oh, if we could just frag him right there, it would be so much better. Oh, we got bandages now. Man. We're doing so much better there. Uh, 65, 40, and then he's like hiding out over there. We'll just shoot this guy. Okay, do you need to reload? You got three more bullets. These are all the action points. Um, let's intimidate. Intimidate him. Did it work? It said flee. Not entirely sure. In the back. There you go. And then I want you to like, yeah, get where you got some cover from this guy. Okay. Blue bar is gone. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, that worked or not? Only six. We've got what on him? Sixty-nine. Okay. Maybe we. Um, so it takes three to shoot. What does it take to to aim? What oh, takes five? I can't even do that. I think it's, I think it's only one action point. Oh, I do have a frag. My friend's gonna be in it. All right, we won't do this time. I wish I shoot him in the back. I'm the worst. Kangaroo's laughing at me. Oh, my face! Yeah, <laughs> Kangaroo just hops on by. <laughs> Halloween man. There he goes. He's running away. He's scared. He's going to get that tree. Oh, man. Is he gone for good? Guess we'll find out. Um, 63, 45... stand and get you some cover I mean maybe maybe from there to like there over here step oh right the bum Okay. 
a good shot on this guy, but I have a... Well, not really. Does he have cover on me? So I could... I could go like this. Take a shot, which isn't very good. Oh, I got him. And then come out and hide behind a tree. Move away so I can stab you. Oh, we got him. Yeah, he's running away. Taking his bag and going home. Okay, we got it this time. Um, you know what? We're just going to walk right out. And blast him. What is this? We're all like the worst shots. I think we're level one or something. Um, she can't make it up there. She can switch over to her pistol, though. This says flanks. Maybe we get him. We're gonna go. Oh, nice. That was a thirty percent chance. Crit. Did I miss him? Get some angel wings popping up there for a second. Got him! Okay. Could have gone better. Still, maybe we stopped him hurting anyone else later on. I think it went just fine. I have to give Tina the news. She'll be happy. I'll go loot this guy. Ooh. Yeah, give me all that stuff. Yeah. Alright. And his, and his buddy over here, too. Hey, mine. What you got? Wildfire grenade. Take all that. I need to find a better knife for old stabs. So this uh, the science the scientist was working on a um, this a time machine. The time machine also would double as a as a replicator. And so to prove this, what he did is he he uh, took a duck and sent this duck one minute into. Um, the future and also two minutes into the future, right? Replicator time machine. After the first minutes, the duck appears successful. Hooray. Uh, the second duck, as soon as it happened, both ducks were instantly annihilated. And the reason the second duck, um, the, the appearance of the second duck uh, had created a paradox. It was a little, uh, that, that took some, some time to get to. It took a little bit... Of, of effort to get that. I'm not sure if it was worth it. Oh, the old paradox joke. Uh. Sometimes when I'm telling these dad jokes, I, I'm thinking, man, it's going on for a long time. <laughs> Let's go have a chat with the... What, with the what's your name? Wiley? G'day. What Tina. Did I, do for you? Uh, I took care of the problem. Yeah, I saw... She stares at the body, tap at her whistle against her thigh, then shrugs. Hope we didn't have any friends that will come looking for him. I mean, doubt it. The guy was uh, be all end all of of um, jerks. I guess I'll try to keep the family friendly. I guess I just hope for uh, you'll be here if this if his mates come along. Oh well, yeah, you know I'll I'll always be here. Um, report Tina's completed. We got some experience. Look that side tension draining from body. Finally, I feel like this place is up on the up and up. Thanks, friend. Uh, I'll give her a high five. Yeah, high five. Takes her a moment, then she grins and gives you a solid hand slap. Uh, when's Mick gonna arrive? Uh, Mick's a force of nature, like a cyclone or dust storm. When he's here, you'll know. Right. He's the one paying us. What's life without a little bit of fun at your employer's expense? Uh, you in charge here? Yep. Okay. Well, Coca B is engraved on the front of the handwriting and on the, her what pocket watch. Station master's timepiece. Anyone gives you grief, you come to me. I don't know what time it is though. Spring's been busted for years. Um, any news for me? Uh, Damo's mate is in a bad way. It's a big ass, but he's probably needs some medical attention. If you're the kind who can give it, I don't know if it'd be enough. Yeah, you know, I'll I'll go handle that. Hello okay. there, Tina. Lovely as the day oh. is long. There's Mick. Always. We would have been here sooner, but, well, let's just say it's been an eventful day. 
Long ones are the best. Well, I don't know about that. <clears throat> uh, had some excitement this morning. I had to deal with some diplomacy after that. Not a bad day's work, if I say so myself. Suppose introductions are in order. I'm Mick Jones, and this is Jess Brown. Uh, if you're a new face, you're a new face in this crowd. In the forging alliances, or do you prefer to rough it alone? Oh, um... Do you want my actual answer, or the answer you think I think you'll want? He laughs out loud. We sure meet some special ones when we leave home, huh, Jess? <laughs> on that note, I think I'll go check in on Frida. You're doing well if the scouts are pulling in recruits have already got the word world figured out. Yeah. Speaking of new recruits, he adjusts his coat and nods to Mishti. Young lady, you're looking well. Me, I'm off for a quick squiz at the goods. Try to keep my hand in. Let me know when you're ready to head off to Brookton. No worries. Um, what do I pay you all that good money for then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Must be our lucky day. We've got old Charmer Mick on uh, on bad days. He's he's not so let's nice. Up and get on the road. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so we got we got party management was the what are you telling me the new stuff I brought in? I don't see anything new here. We're all still level one. Is that your health? Oh yeah, you're a little beat up. We probably should figure out how to fix you. Um. There's, there's that, which we are swaying into the one we can't handle yet. I don't know if it's possible. We have to be pretty tricky to get both of them. Oh, there's my percentages over there, too. <clears throat> Why do you always find a, find a goose at the at a, at a harbor? Because you go, doc, doc, goose. You know, it would have been, it would have been better if it was just been, it's just been like five minutes longer. It would have been, that would have been gold. Okay, let's talk to Mick about going to Brick Bricktown. Bricktown. There's the map. Cool. I like the maps. I suppose we could look around here a little bit. If we were looking to do some sightseeing, I suppose. Ooh. Can I play that? We need to get healed up before we do much of anything. You remind me of a guy I punched in the face a while back. <laughs> Can I go in here? Feel the heat radiating out of radiating radiating out of it. Oh yeah, because it's because it's hot. Um, where do we suppose we find the? Um, he's got a medical kit right there. Gaunt man looks up at you, shivering uncontrollably. Water. He croaks a word. Mm, what can I do to help you? Apart from water, he raises a shaking hand to point at the young man next to him. His voice is a reedy croak. Um, I mean, he stands up straight, bouncing his foot relentlessly as you approach. He has a smear of grease under one eye and a dusty mop of unattended ha hair held at bay with a weather-beaten cap. Good day. Everyone needs fuel. Black gold's rarer than actual gold these days. I got petrol, diesel, whatever you need. Uh, best price is this side of Meriden. Meriden. Or I'll eat my hat. Okay, okay. Uh, speaks with forced joviality. Um... Yeah, yeah, I hear, I hear from Tina that your mate needs help. What can I do? Trouble at the refinery, and Sid ended up copping the worst of it. Everything was fair dinkum. And now his hair's fallen out. And he hasn't eaten in three days. That seems seems rough. Uh, I got a doctor friend in down Brookton Way. She'd help him, especially if I told her you, I sent you. You told her I sent you. Okay. Sorted? Uh, yeah, sure. Mouth falls open. Really? I mean, thanks. Springs forward and shakes your hand so hard it makes your elbow hurt. Looks up at you. His lips crack, face pale, sweating and shivering. I shake a hand, but I've had the runs for the past six days. <laughs> you don't, know what, don't want to know what I've been using for toilet paper. Um, what's wrong with you? No, no, I was hoping you would. I'll get old mate settled in the back of Jess's wagon then. Yeah, see, we're, we're heroes. I want that medkit right there. Okay, thanks, mate. You've got no idea what this means to me. I'll catch you up once I've sold your fuel. Your, our fuel, okay? Okay, okay. Um, I think that's the guy we're looking for. We need a... I guess we could stop off... Yeah, it's a arcade machine. And a picture of a cat. 
welcome to Kokobi and the energy source of the future. See anything you like? Um, what do you got for sale? You have car batteries, scraps, screwdrivers, and solar panels. Gentleman's energy source. I picked up a few things I could sell. Like I've got an extra, oh, it's a shotgun. I should use a shotgun. Why is this hunting knife so much better than, so much more expensive than this hunting knife? Huh. Um. What makes solar panels so special? Um. I'll tell you, I knew the energy energy game. These guys don't give a don't don't care about being informed, but me, I know my worth. Comes energy, you got three choices. Dig up black stuff, set it on fire, or that big old fire orb in the sky, or run water through some turbines. Okay. Okay. Come back soon. I'm not sure if we um. They're still laying there. Uh, we might need to find someone that's going to give us some a place to rest or something. Welcome to Kokobi. This is old Frida here. Need any water? Um, tell me about Kokobi. It's a lot bigger than it used to be, she laughs abruptly. Not much to do, but it's a handy crossroads for hawking your wares to hapless passerby. Now let's see what you got. How do you got water? I don't have any water. Maybe I should buy some water. I'll buy a jug of water. 50 bucks and I will give you a um, I'll give you a knife for it wait that's worth 400 oh it's 8 of them how do I take just one hmm. I can't take the smaller ones There we go. Deal. Uh, what are you doing here? Selling water. What's your story? I'm free. I got a decent source of sweet tasting water. Okay. Yeah, I imagine solar would be pretty handy out there. Um, we didn't really raid this guy's this guy's hut. What else is up here? Must be our way our way out. Ooh, trash can. Hey, water. I'm not entirely sure what we do about what we do about healing. I don't see any places like a like a rest spot except for over there. Um, let's take a look at these. So, yes, he's at nine hit points. Make the world go round. Um, restores ten hit points. Okay, we can give her we can give her some meat. Can't use I oh, I can't use it outside of combat. How do I heal her up then? Um, I don't know. It's got to be a rest somewhere right here. So everything else is ready. We just got we got to talk with check up on Sid's medical treatment. Is Sid still here? Is he down this way? Where would he run off to? Isn't he back at um back at home? Staring at Ian Mason's dead body. She doesn't seem upset, but she isn't happy either. Shame that, she says. Who are you? Like Mick said, name's Jess. Trader from out of Brookton. Travel mostly with Mick. Uh, what do you do? I drive a camel cart from Brookton to Kokobi, right? Isn't on their wagon? Keeps my chances out and sleeping under the stars. I only know when I won't get caught. Uh, what do you need? Nothing at the moment. You come here often. Every couple days. Anything to trade? Nope. Tell me about Kukubi. Uh, why ask me when Tina's right there? 
It used to be a rail stop before the world went to hell. It became a trading post because people could follow the tracks. Okay. Alright, um... I have... I got a bandage in... Four... Oh, maybe... Can I use it right now? I guess I could try that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was easy enough. Okay. I figured... I saw the meat and I figured the bright bandage was, was going to be an in-combat thing also. Okay, I... Um, I'm ready to go. I need to make sure we're all squared up with Tina before we roll out. I'm going to get moving. Um... I don't know, mate. It's been a long day. I'm not sure I have the energy to haggle with a stubborn old mule. Okay. I'm having a little chance. Sooner back, sooner back to town, the sooner we can buy me a beer. Well, let's get back to Brookton. Well, now. It's getting late, but here we are. Have a look around town. Introduce yourself to the locals. Never hurts to know who you're dealing with. Thanks. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we gotta go meet the residents of Brookton. Check in with Sid once I reached. Oh, sorry, he's in Brookton already. I thought so. We were right on our cart that we came in on. Okay, let's go uh, meet some folks. Brookton's a friendly place. say. It's a water man. Seems to be a lot of water folk. What do you have for sale? Water, barley, fruit, mushrooms, radio parts. Are we, we're looking for those, right? But I think I think we're fine. Uh, who are you? I'm Bruce. It's a bit of this and that. Where's your water come from? I know a guy. Where'd you come in from? Uh, older side. Um... Just doing rounds the Deweys and other water merchants might have missed. What are Deweys? Dew farmers. Okay. Let's go in here. Oh, hey, look at this place. Let's, um... Let's have a chat. What can I get you? First drinks free. <laughs> Promise to buy three more. Um, how'd you get to running a pub? Hoist her right leg up on the bench and wraps her on her skin with her knuckles. Wasn't much good. The crew wants the blood poison to my leg. Okay. Uh, what's your leg made of? Good old hardwood. Ooh, look at her wood. Leg. Anything interesting going on in town? Let's see. She pauses her bar idly. Uh, Vic and SD got another fight. Didn't break his jaw this time, but Sarah gave him a good chewing out. Go on. Raj got Vicky's knickers in a nod over some loney odor. So she sheared his sheep in the middle of the night and left him standing by naked in the run. In the run? <laughs> what else? S SD and Rowan got back together. <laughs> Um, more, I need more. Uh, okay, you're short one more. Easy, Tiger. That's about it, I reckon. Scratches the side of her nose. Not a lot going around here, as you can see. Let's trade. What do you got? You got grenades? And you got a beer can. Hey. Alright. And some turpentine. Okay, bye. Um... More like Sally only. Ooh, let's go get a... Can we have one? I can click it. Well, alright. I feel like I may have missed something in there. Okay. 
Hey, it's a cat. Can we pet the cat? Oh, tell me we can pet the cat. Hey, cat. Oh, man. That's it. I quit. What's going on over here? Speech bubble's in a weird spot there. Hello. I can't talk to you, though. Stop sulking and let's play. Okay. What we're here, we're here to what? We got, we got to meet the residents of Brookton. All right. They don't really seem like they're in the talking mood. Also, my inventory, my, my picking up isn't... Oh, there we go. Some of them work, some of them don't. Good to see you again. There's Jess. Uh, what do you do with the camels when you're not traveling? Bob and Don hang out at the Taylor farm with the other camels and sheep. What's there to do around here? Drink and, and uh, hang out. Most people don't stay long. They come to the big smoke for one reason or another. Okay. Have a good one. Get up to him. Uh, hey, Sean. If you're here to help out, we're glad to have you. What do you do? I work the farm with Dad and keep Burkton fed. Who are you? Sean Taylor. Any news? Nope. Doesn't need anything. Right. Socializing for one. Okay. Cadbury. It's good to know your limits. Head back to Bally Bally. Sun's about to set. Hope we can hit the pub. Chicken on Jake and Jonesy. Mick will want to grill the new kid on how the day went down. Let's handle that part first, yeah? Alright, can we go like the long way? I'm gonna see what's on up here. Man's greatest fear is the unknown. Cow's greatest fear is the cat. Is it? Cows not like cats? Who this fella is. Uh, lady is. New in town, she puts on her uh, hoe and pulls off heavy gardening gloves. It's always a pleasure to meet a new phrase. Who are you? I'm Alana, Jess's mum. Uh, what do you do here? I'm a gardener, chicken wrangler, butcher. Anything for sale? You do have things for sale. All right. Well, as soon as I figure out what I want to buy, I'll I'll be right here. What's a uh, lamington? Uh, what does it say that? Uh, I make a mean lamington. What is that? Uh, you don't. Uh, she thinks for a moment. Vanilla sponge cake dipped in chocolate icing, mixed and rolled in a desiccated coconut. All right. Oh, I think I, um, maybe we can squeeze through here. I think... Nope. We may hit a dead end. Ah, oh, we made it. Okay. Okay, so we got... This keeps highlighting like something's coming in here. I don't know what it is. So it's just picking things up. And in the journal. Let's go talk to Mick. I do want to check up on Sid's medical treatment. I don't know where we do that at. I'm assuming there's some place that, some sort of doctor around here, maybe we can we can chat with. Maybe Mick will say something. Mental locals, uh, looks like you've been through the ringer, new kid. Time for a beer. Each person paying for themselves. In a moment of your time, says James. Uh, speaker's in a tall, broad-shouldered man. Remind you of nothing so much. Okay. Um, I'll remain silent. Spit it out then. All the humor is gone from him like he senses a threat. Voice is low and calm. My name's James Wakefield. I'm glad to have met you, Mr. Jones. I come bearing a proposition for you and your people. Proposition? 
Holds his hands out, palms up. Let me be plain. I come from a powerful community to the east. We're rebuilding civilization, and we'd like to invite Brookton to be part of that effort. Join us, and we can end the age of grubbing through the relics of the past. Join us, we can usher in an age of miracles. You want us to bow and scrape to someone who's never even looked our way before? Who's never even had a good grace to come and say hello himself? Um, I mean, we can hear him out. I don't remember asking you for your opinion, mate. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He stares at the stranger silently for a few seconds. We got nothing but your word to go by. Show us some of these miracles you're so keen on to bring us into the fold. Mr. Jones, I was sent merely to make the offer. I'm a messenger, not a diplomat. If pretty words you're after, then you're not the man I thought you were. Uh, why don't you go home, he says. Uh, I must ask one more time. We can offer your people many things. Food, water, protection, freedom from want or care, the future in this limitless pop possibility rather than scratching out a living on the edges of darkness. Oh, yeah? Um, maybe we like the darkness. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the question that first came to mind. What's the cost of this, of this protection? Um... I missed what the second half of that was. We wouldn't be the first to succeed either. Um, um, we can go. <laughs> do we want to get in a fight with this guy? Um, who are you and where do you come from? I'm simply the bearer of good news from lands of the east. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't know why you're taking this bloke seriously. Join in his mysterious far off community so we can, I don't know. All drive cars again? He's been out in the sun too long. No need to be rude. Uh, we may You've made your choice quite clear. My duty was to ask, and so I have done. Oh, they're coming to shoot us. Make sure Cole gets Bally Bally back up to the radio waves. Too sweet. Okay, might be a good idea. Tomorrow we can send someone to follow his tracks and find out where he came from. We'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, yeah. Send me. I want to go see where he went. Okay, to the house of pub. I still never figure out where the uh, where my my doc uh, my guy went. Oh, the cat. <sighs> Busy day. Here. Gotta head back and spell mad. So have uh. Mm-hmm. I was actually planning to head to the pub. Like you said, it's been a hell of a day. Pub o'clock. Don't be an idiot. Yeah, there you go. Ripper. Um. Uh, what's a drink or two? Um. Better to walk than end up wrapped around. Uh, um. 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 It's a bit of a hike to Bally Bally, isn't it? It'll do him good. I can walk off a hangover. Uh, all right, Missy, let's pack it in. We've got a free ride home, and I, like I said, Matt will be angry if we get left out of the action. Okay. 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 She hey, wants. Mate, she wants to go drink. We saved that boy a key road today. Can you understand that? We saved an innocent life. No, I mean that I saved. I saved a life. Besides, I saw that Merv murder, uh, killed today. <sighs> Need a little something for the nerves, you know? Uh, plus we know Taylor Farm was raided today. What if we come back? What if they want revenge? Burton will need guns. Um. What's that one? What's that symbol for? Quite a slip away, but it's something there. Um. Yeah, just don't drink too much. Burton's got him handled, Mishti. We don't need our guns here. Jonesy promised to buy me a beer. You know how I feel about free beer. Okay, kid, I've got stories about Jonesy that'll curl pubes. <laughs> um. Quietly slip away. Almost like a, like a like a combat thing. I'm, I see where the night takes you. Always a good idea to seize opportunities where you can find them. 
I'm sorry. Anyway, Dreamer, I'm gone. I'd say don't do anything I wouldn't, but you're already way past that point if you're keen on a dickhead like Henry. I'll tell Matt you're drinking her beer. <laughs> the boy died of gangrene. Don't say that. Uh, Ella left the party. Wait a minute. At least you weren't trying to be my dad. Treat me like a little sister. All right. All right, public lock it is. You coming? I'm all alone now. I can head to the pub and get my beers on. Yeah, that's all we really got left. We got to check on uh, poor Sid. No, oh, I think a kitty kid. Hey, kitty. All right. Yeah, public lock it is. We're going to get drunk, and then we're going to get attacked. Oh, there's this guy. Um, we, don't, we don't know any of these people, do we? <laughs> it was a shame things went the way they did in Kokobi. But I'm happy to know you had Ella and Mishti's backs. Heard you put that crybaby Mason in his place. I was overdue for a dirt nap. That'll teach me to take people at their word, huh? Cheers. Heard you put that crybaby. Oh, yeah, That'll yeah. teach me to take. Listen to Misty's enthusiastic recount of the day's events with half an ear and keeping tabs on the people in the bar with the other. Uh, are you gonna buy me a drink? No, I said Ella could buy me one, but she went and racked off, didn't she? I'll get her next time. Up for a chat? Uh, yeah. Who's drinking his beer? Yeah, it looks like Jonesy. Um. Well, let's do it. Attaboy. Let's get down to brass tacks. Um, it's a long walk. Long enough walk from Kokobi. No time to hear about your exploits. Uh-huh. Um. Sure, why not? Well then, here we go. Hey, Burns, how's it going? Seems like you've got a good head on your shoulders. A realistic view of the world. Give and take and whatnot. Uh, El says you're a bit of a bludger. And I'm inclined to agree. There's no free ride in life, mate. And you'd better start pulling your weight if you want to last around here. As for that merc up in Kokobi. You mean the guy that I shot? Dead Eye Mason was a bully. And an embarrassment. We don't kill people around for that around here. Not since I've become mayor anyway. That's not even getting into what happened at Key Road. Kai Road? He watches you waiting for your reaction. Go on. That was some quick thinking. A shot like that takes a steady hand, and I'd say Ella was right to hire you, and I told her so. Now, tell me I'm wrong. I don't think you actually want me to do that. Ah! Wipes his uh, eyes with his fingers. He's laughing. <laughs> I like you, kid. Well, You're all right. All right. Mm -hmm. The sound of hail reaches your ears. Oh, my rolling was ours. Lord burst into the pub, screams and cloying smoke trailing in his wake. Oh man, I didn't see that coming. Get out here! We're under attack. Bloody mongrels! Let's show them what it means to tangle with Brookton. I didn't get my beer. Okay. That's as far as your story goes right now. Oh no! You've already made your mark on this sunburned land. Gambling on shock as an antidote to despair. But taking your stand against bludgers and blow-ins. Despite the many paths in front of us, we can only ever walk our own. <laughs> what tale? Will your choices tell at the end of your journey down these broken roads? There we go. I missed it. <laughs> the one, the cart with the family had a baby on board sign. Is that what that was next to it? I know we don't, we don't know what happened to the old guy now. Oh, man. I want to play more. 
All right, so I guess it's, that's what a demo, what, it's, what a demo is supposed to do. Make me want to play more. Well, there we go. There is, uh, there's Broken Roads. Um, I'll take a look at the old Steam page here. And, uh, take a gander at this one. But Drop Bear Bites versus Evil comes out, I think it's end of this year, or maybe even, um, I don't remember exactly when the release date is. I think, I think it's reasonably soonish. Um, but yeah, this demo is, is here on Steam and you can pick it up and, um, figure out what happened to the old guy. Five party members. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. I think, you know, it's, they're, um, kind of a rare breed. These, like the old CRPGs. <clears throat> yeah, we, we saw a few camels, but anyway, there is Broken Roads. Um, I will, I'll, I'll most likely be back with that one, um when it comes out. 